folks, Steve the Hurricane, and welcome to another exciting episode of A Drink with the Hurricane. Cheers. In today's episode of A Drink with the Hurricane, I'm going to talk about the Home Care Revenue Builders webinar for July. And this webinar is on all things managing and, and hiring marketing representatives. Because in the Home Care Pulse report for 2015, the difference in revenues from agencies without full-time marketing reps to agencies with full-time marketing reps is 33%. So take whatever you did in 2014, if you don't have a marketing rep, and add 33%, one-third additional revenue to your total numbers, and that's what you'd have if you had a full-time marketing representative. We're talking about the difference between $1.3 million and $2 million in total revenue. That's a significant chunk of revenue. You need a full-time marketing rep. Now, one of the most common questions and challenges that people have with marketing rep is how long should I give a marketing representative to get established? You have to remember that the marketing representative position is one where they are doing a business to business sale. So they are going to referral sources that already are aware of our services. They are probably already working with someone else and they have to be able to build a professional relationship that is going to get them to stop referring someone else and start referring them. This takes time. On average, three to six months is the time it takes to get referrals. Even myself, when I was a marketing rep back in 2005, my first three months on the job, I signed on and brought on only about five or six total clients from August 15th through November 15th. My fourth month, I brought on 12 new clients and then I never looked back and I always had double digit client starts from that month forward. So it took me, the person who wrote the book on sales and marketing for this industry, took me three months to get established. And it's gonna take the same thing for any marketing rep. So a lot of times people have this belief in a 90 day probationary period. I do like the 90 day probation, all right? But you don't wanna have 90 day probation if you don't see results, you let the person go. It's 90 day probation to see if they're doing the activities that you like and get, get used to working with them and, and hear the feedback from people in the industry. So Brian, who was my boss at the time, and later on I became his business partner in 2009, those first three months, he's going to networking events, he's going to community events, and he kept hearing about all the things that his marketing rep, me, was doing. So even though I'm thinking to myself, all right, it's been three months, where are the clients, where are the referrals, why am I not getting them, I've only had five clients at this point, he's like, keep doing what you're doing, you're doing fantastic, I'm getting positive feedback and so on, and then all of a sudden in the fourth month, I had 12 starts and he was just like right on, and that's when a couple months later he gave me the nickname the Hurricane and the rest is history. So you have to give people time. What do I recommend? I recommend six months. If you are investing in hiring a full-time marketing person, give them six months. Now, after that third at 90 day probation period, you should start to see the referrals trickle in. If it's not coming in, then you gotta sit down and think about it. But after six months time, if you're still not getting the referrals and you're not getting the business, the best advice I can give you, and I know it sounds harsh, but the best advice I can give you would be to just let the person go and part ways now. All too often, I find many home care companies do the opposite. And I understand. I'm an employer myself. I don't, we don't hire people to fire people. Everybody thinks that employers are all about themselves and so on. And that couldn't be further from the truth. I know that. I'm an employer myself. I feel your pain. I hate letting somebody go. And I've done it before three times. And I don't like doing it. But for the sake of the business, if you have a marketing rep who's been with you for six months and they're not bringing in the results that they should be, either invest in training, all right, we, we do that, or let the person go and make the change. They're not successful, they feel the pressure and they feel the heat, they're, they're probably down on themselves, they may even be depressed for all I know, so it's not working out for them, they're not happy at work, you're not happy with the results, you end up keeping the person around for a year, 18 months, and, and you create a position for them and, and your business is bleeding and not getting the growth that you want. So six months is the time that you need to invest in a marketing person. And if they're not happy with it, they're not doing well, and you let the person go, then they can go and find something that will better suit them. Many people who have been fired and let go from a position in any industry 
When they find their niche and something that they're happy with, they lead a happy, fulfilled life. So don't feel like you're letting somebody go and it's gonna, you know, now what are they gonna do? That's that's not, that's truly, it's not your concern, all right? That's, that's their concern, they will find a way. We all find a way, we've all been there. We've all lost jobs, all right? That's, that's just the, the human condition, all right? So, that being said, uh, I always recommend six months time is the amount of time that you give a marketing representative on this webinar, I'm going to go through all of the accountability measures, the daily, weekly activities, the, 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 the formula for success, the things that we have to do as the owner and managing the marketing rep and so on. So make sure you're on that webinar. It's going to be fantastic. And post your comments below. What has your experience been like? Have you worked with somebody for longer than six months and had a positive experience? Or have you let somebody go too soon and, and it ended up blowing up in your face? Or, or what is your, have you had the perfect marketing rep? We love comments, we love feedback. Sharing is caring, posting information, and I'll talk to you next week.